we really started well, to first of all, pay attention uh, to the issue of dyslexia really when we encountered a number of students that we couldn't quite figure out what was going on with their reading and their writing in particular. And the more that we investigated them, the more that we did various types of tests and got support and advice from various specialists and professionals, we said, you know, this child really has a dyslexic profile and another child has a dyslexic profile. And the more we looked at it, the more we saw the comorbidity with other issues that can often cloud what is in there and part of that being dyslexia. For example, you know, if a child has ADD or ADHD, that can often mask other learning issues and the same for almost anything, auditory processing or, um, or autism spectrum disorder. So. We started to say, you know, even after we have accounted for those other difficulties, we've still got this whole cohort of students whose reading and writing is really well below what we believe their potential is. I think the first part of it is the awareness and the education. And as a whole school, it's our responsibility to find out as much as we can about dyslexia, how it presents itself, the variety of types of dyslexia, that are possible. And of course, dyslexia is a spectrum. So you can have extremely mild dyslexia to very severe dyslexia and everything in between. So it can be quite a process to peel the onion that will then tell us when we finish peeling it that this is a child who has dyslexia and give us a roadmap of how to support him or her. I can't talk about a success rate. It's really a success road. And on certain areas, we've had a lot of success. I think in terms of student self-esteem, I would say we've probably done very, very well. I'd say, you know, more than a 90% success rate. Because I really feel that once they understand that they learn differently, that they're not dumb. It's just their brain processes information differently they start to think of themselves differently and they say, okay, I can learn. Yeah. And of course, success is not a nice linear road. It is a very spiky road, one step forward, one step back. We hope though it is ever increasing on the positive side and that we don't lose students. And we try to stay really close, in close touch with them and their parents to make sure that we're on the right track. I think when you're looking at success globally in a school, it, there isn't a point at which I can say we've got an 87% success rate. It really is the road. And of course, the true success of that road is when they leave us. Can they do everything that they would like to do? Can they fulfil their ambitions for themselves? Mm -hmm.